It's February 2024. The caravan's had its 11th service, so we're all ready for the coming year. Well, we're off to Upperhurst Farm campsite in Holmend, which is on the Staffordshire Derbyshire border, and it's 1.7 mile from the pretty village of Hartington. This is where the site is in the country, Holm End. There are 25 fully serviced hard standing pitches, all with 16 amp electric. There are 15 tent pitches, all with 10 amp electric. And for those non-touring family and friends, there's a glamping caravan, a hideaway yurt, and two holiday cottages for hire. Well, we're paying £34.20 per night and we're staying for five nights and that's a total of £171. We'll see you on the road in. Now turn right. So we're turning off the A515 onto the B5054 towards Hartington. Please follow the road for three miles. Well, this is the first glimpse of Hartington Village. Well, we'll be walking here from the caravan, uh, so we'll be able to film it in a bit more detail. We're gonna be turning off the B5054 we're half a mile from the campsite. Please turn left in 200 yards. There we are, left here. Now turn left. Took a swing in here, look. Well, Upper Hurst Farm is a Visit England five-star touring and camping park. It's in 300 set... yards, you will have reached your destination. It's set in a tranquil location with stunning views and excellent facilities. And we're both looking forward to this holiday. You have reached your destination. Oh, somebody's coming out. I'm leaving. Park here and check in at reception. It's quite busy. Oh, it is, isn't it? A look at the service setup. I've used my 10 meter electric hookup cable. It's a 16 amp hookup. There's the water tap. I've used the seven and a half meter water extension hose. There's the connection. There's the grey waste into the grey waste point. Oh, and that is one of the two glamping caravans. And that's the view behind us. TV reception. Uh, we've got the stations we want, but probably if I'd have lifted and rotated the aerial, we'd have probably got more stations. Uh, mobile phone reception, it's good on site, but it might be a bit hit and miss while you're out and about. We're on pitch 25 and this is the view in front of our caravan. There's reception and there's the facility block and pot washing area. This is the view to the right of us. And there's the children's play area over the other side of the hedge there. And you can see the second glamping caravan. And this is the view to the left of us looking down sight. And from this angle, you can see all 25 pitches. Central to the site, you can see the tent hookup points 
and there's the recycling area and chemical toilet disposal point and I'm doing some recycling. Bricks here for your fire pits and barbecues and drinking water. Glass. Cans. Paper and cardboard. Plastic. And finally, general rubbish. Toilet emptying is a bit tight for tipping your cassette, but it's manageable. In the bottom left corner of the site is the hideaway yurt. The entrance to the yurt is between pitchers 15 and 16. This is looking down towards the yurt, it's got a decked area and a barbecue. This is a view looking back up the site. This is one of the two cottages you can rent and this one's named Gaya Lodge. Above the facility block is the other cottage for hire called The Loft and there you can see the motor home service point. There's information just inside the facility block. There's the men's, disabled and ladies. There we have Peak District Attractions. So here we have the ladies facilities, clean, fresh and warm. Three showers and three toilets. Outside reception is an undercover pot washing area. There's kitchen and laundry and you can purchase their very own eggs, £2 for half a dozen. There's the opening times of reception and small shop. Good morning, it's a lovely day today so we're heading for Thor's Cave along the Manifold Trail and en route is a tunnel walk. So flasks, snacks and walking boots are ready so we'll see you along the way. Say hello to Susan's chickens. They're not doing much scratching about. Oh they are, I can hear them. Oh, in N house. Yeah. Hello. Apparently, you can buy fresh eggs, and Susan says they're delicious. We'll have to get some. We will. And say hello to Susan's ponies. Yeah, Tiger Lily, Bella, Suki, and Maya. And they're having the breakfast. Oh, they're enjoying that. Munch, munch, munch. Four beautiful Shetland ponies. From the caravan site entrance to the manifold inn in Hullmend, it's a 10 minute walk, but there's no street lighting and no footpath, so not very good for dark nights. This is a nice looking old pub. Opening times here, they even do breakfast. There's lunch menu, a kids menu, an evening menu and a dessert menu Here's the visitors centre with its tea room, toilets, picnic area and car park Let's go and spend a penny before we continue, eh? Yeah.
At the visitor centre car park entrance is the Manifold Trail. Nice scenery around here and you can tell this has been underwater. Look at all the accumulation of grass on those posts. Yeah, it has been flowing. Here we are, Swainsley Tunnel Walk, but it is a road. Boo! <laughs> Yeah, these are old railway tunnel refuges all the way down. There you go, look. Out of the tunnel and what a view. That's the river manifold down there. We've arrived at wet and mill tea rooms and toilets. We're leaving wet and tea rooms and we're going to cross over a ford. Well, we're going to walk across the ford, but it's a bit too deep. We'll take the other road. Thor's cave up there. There's a few folk as well, and a dog. I bet it's a bit slippy. Might be. I bet we can't get in. They're all just stood there, look. Hey, we'll have a go anyway. Pause and read board here on Thor's Cave and what else? Manifold Valley. Onwards and upwards to the cave. It's very muddy and slippy. Good view of the Manifold Valley from here. So there we have it, a natural cavern set in a limestone crag. Have you saved your Christmas cake? Yeah. <laughs> Cupper and a snack and then back to caravan. So. For our walks on this holiday, I'm using OS Explorer OL24. Here's Hartington Village, Home End, and here is Upperhurst Farm campsite. To get to Thor's Cave, we turn right outside the entrance, down the lane, Turn left here into Hulm End and at the visitor centre we took the Manifold Way along here and that took us to Swainsley Tunnel here and then we carried on along this road to Wetton Tea Room at Wetton Mill here and then continued along this road and then took the Manifold Trail here to this point where we crossed over a bridge and worked his way up to Thor's cave here. And then we took this footpath into Wetton village and then took the road back to the campsite. Dull day today, rain later. We're gonna walk into Hartington village this morning with its cafes, pubs, gift shops, Village Square, Duck Pond and Speciality Cheese Shop. So we're going to get us coats on now and get going and try and beat that rain. It's breakfast time on this farm. And there's one staying undercover. Our walk into Hartington takes us out of Staffordshire. And into Derbyshire. We're now in the Derbyshire Dales. Here's Hartington car park charges and the car park is first on the left as you enter Hartington from the campsite. And there are 45 spaces. Across from the car park is Hartington farm shop and cafe and public toilets. Here's the Charles Cotton Hotel, Restaurant and Bar. This is the Village Square. 
here's the pause and read board the village pump the old cheese shop and the duck pond well we'll go and get a piece of cheese now to go with our ploughman's lunch tonight lovely shop isn't it? I'm going to choose a piece of cheese or a couple gifts as well jams and marmalade yeah. crackers and wine to go with your cheese. Well, um, the classic yeah. five, the yeah. striped, has that got uh, red Leicester in it? It has, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, red Leicester, double Gloucester, cheddar, Cheshire and Derby. Right. Uh, we'll have uh, one of those then, please. Thank you. And one of these caramelised onion. The, the truckle? Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, and, and a card. There's a card here. Alright. Yes, Robert. Yes, Robert. Are you one with Ari, aren't you, Robert? No, I have that. Oh, you have to be Yeah. Well, I could have one, I could have one of them. Well, I think I'll have, I'll have one of these as well. <laughs> Please. Uh, uh, peatland, white, cranberry and orange. Is that piece there okay for you? Yeah, that's fine, yeah, thank you. Wonderful, is that everything? That's it, thank you. Thank you, that's £14.07, please. Or some dry tomato. Got our cheese for the cheese board. <laughs> right, let's go and explore Restit Village. There's an antique shop, the Devonshire Arms, Beresford Tea Rooms, the Village Stores, and a Country Store gift shop. And across from the Village Stores is a News Agent and General Stores. Let's have a look at St Giles Church, it's 13th century and unusually built of sandstone. We are gathered here today to celebrate our holiday in Hartington and let us pray for sunshine. <laughs> it's a lovely old church. We're going to get back to the caravan now for a cuppa and get warm. This was our walk into Hartington. We turned right outside the entrance, down the lane, turn right here, and that took us straight into the village. 1.7 mile, 35 minutes. Uh, there's no footpath and the road can be busy at times. Are you warm enough under that heated throw? Yes, I'm thawed out now, thank you. Um, we got a bit wet coming back from Hartington village, didn't we? We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I enjoyed it. Bit of fresh air, plus we got our cheese for tea. We did? Yeah, looking forward to that. So, looking over there at the hills, they're all misted over. So, it's still raining, so we may as well just settle down for the afternoon and chill. Don't get a chance to do that very often, do we? We don't. No. So. Hartington cheese. Is it nice? Yeah, cranberry and orange. You can really taste the orange. Yeah, really nice. Good morning. Beresford Dale today. A picturesque walk from the caravan along the River Dove through a narrow wooded dale with limestone cliffs. It sounds nice. Here's a view of the campsite from the lane. Very quiet on the site, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. Peaceful. 
we've got to the end of the road, River Dove. This is a footbridge to get onto the footpath that takes you to Wolf Scott Dale. But we're going to go that way. That's Beresford Dale. This is the way we're going. We've got to cross back over the river at this footbridge because that's private, Beresford House. Over there in between the trees at the side of the River Dove is Charles Cotton Fishing Temple. Well, Charles Cotton was a poet and a keen fisherman. It stands on private land, so we can't get any closer. But apparently Charles built this temple in 1674 to celebrate his friendship with Isaac Walton. Isaac was a writer and is the author of The Complete Angler, first published in 1653. Their entwined initials are apparently carved into the stone above the door. Um, the Latin inscription translates to a sacred place for anglers. And we saw the Charles Cotton Hotel and Restaurant in Hartington Village yesterday. I'm singing in the rain. I'm trying <laughs> to dry it off. <laughs> I've broken Gail's brolly, too much twizzling. <laughs> I'm just washing my boots because it's the roadway back to the caravan. This was our walk to Beresford Dale. We turn left outside the campsite entrance, down the lane to the crossroads, and then left down Beresford Lane, which took us to the River Dove. Then we took the left hand footpath along the river, crossed over this footbridge, then the right hand footpath to this point here, where we got a glimpse of Charles Cotton's fishing temple on the other side. Alternatively, you can take this footpath from Hartington Village. If you want to walk Wolfscott Dale, at the end of the lane, immediately cross over the footbridge and then that footpath takes you through Wolfscott Dale. And then if you continued along the River Dove, through Milldale, to Dovedale. Well, we've enjoyed our first holiday of 2024, despite the mixed bag of weather. Well, regular viewers will know we're generally lucky in picking a dry week, so it's rare to see us out in the rain. Well, we have to say up at Hearst Farm campsite is a relaxing and peaceful place to pitch up. And Susan and family are lovely and we've enjoyed saying hello to the miniature Shetland ponies and hens. In fact, we've just purchased a dozen eggs to take home and there are some good old fashioned white ones included. It's a great site for dogs. There are two exercise fields adjacent to site for a good run around and play. And there's also a three and a half acre field with mowed paths for dog walking. Also, being on the Staffordshire Derbyshire border, the site is between Beresford Dale and Manifold Valley, so doggy walk in heaven. Upper Hearst Farm has a very good website. It tells of the huge biomass boiler which feeds the underfloor heating and showers. So there's ample hot water and no push buttons here. Oh, and apparently the hideaway yurt and one of the holiday cottages for hire both have a hot tub and they're heated for your arrival. I've saved this for our first trip away. It's a Christmas present from Matt. So thank you very much, Matt. This is another Christmas gift. So thanks very much, Ben. I wonder if it'll be full by the end of the year. <laughs> well, Gail has drawn Charles Cotton's fishing temple. As we couldn't see it very well on our walk yesterday. And it stands in the grounds of the long demolished Beresford Hall where Charles Cotton lived. Cheers. Hope to see you on the next video.